Hi guys, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we are going to display brand logos from clonable fields. Here is my example. In the previous video of this series, we did it using Metabox and Gutenberg. But today we will do it with Metabox and Oxygen. Now let's start. To do it, we'll need Metabox to have the framework to create custom fields. I installed Metabox Core plugin. It's free, so you can download it directly from wordpress.org. In this practice, we'll also need its extensions for further advanced features. You can install them individually or use Metabox AIO. Please make sure that you enabled the following extensions. You need MB settings page which allows you to create settings pages. Next, Metabox Builder provides a UI in the back end to create custom fields easily. And Metabox Group, this extension helps to organize custom fields into clonable groups, where we input images. The last one is Oxygen. You should use the 3.9 version or upper, which has the native integration with Metabox. Normally we'll create a custom post type to create multiple posts for brands. But today I do a more convenient and simple way, creating a setting page. The information about all the brands will be input to that page. It means that all of them will be in one place only. In my case, the settings page is quite simple to contain the image of each brand. As there's no special setting, I'll just change the option name. Now, a new menu named Brands appears. It's my new settings page. To have spaces for brand information, we need custom fields. I'm going to create a group field to contain subfields with information about the brand such as brand name and brand image. Pay attention to this option. I set this group as clonable to have more spaces to add different brand information. So you can add as many brand images along with their names as you want. Move to create subfields. To have one more option of adding images, I add two fields which are single image and URL. One allows you to upload images and save them in the library. And one allows you to input a link of an image from anywhere. For the brand name, I have the text field here. That's all the custom fields we need for the brand. Now, go to the settings tab, and choose the location as the settings page that we've just created to apply the custom fields to it. Back on the settings page, you'll see all of the created custom fields. You can click add more to add another brand's information. Now, fill the information into the fields. To add a section for displaying brand's information, go to the Edit with Oxygen section of any page you want. This is the place I want to put those logos. First, add a DIV component. Then add a code block inside the DIV. And, add code to the PHP and HTML section. This variable is to get the value of the field which has the ID as brand group, and the type of object as the settings page with the option name as brands. I have a loop here to display the values from this variable. I create a variable to obtain value from the field which has this ID. If the image variable has any value, means that there is an uploaded image in the single image field, we'll display the image from its returned value. On the other hand, if there is any value in the URL field, we will display the image from that link. In the event that both of these fields have value, we set priority here to display the image from the single image only. This is to display the brand name. Finally, click apply code to apply the entire code. Now, you can see all of the brand logos along with their names displayed already. But it hasn't looked good yet. Thus, we'll need some JS and CSS to make it look good with a better layout. As you see at the beginning of this video, the logos are in a slider, and brand names are displayed correspondingly. To have it, I'll use some JS and CSS. But instead of adding them directly to the theme, I'm using my custom functionality plugin, so when I change the theme, it won't be affected. You can download this plugin from GitHub and install it on your website. And, for the JS and CSS, I use the Slick library. It's also available on GitHub. 
It includes several files as you can see here. But, we just need three of them. Go to the folder of the My Custom Functionality plugin. Upload them into the corresponding JS and CSS folders. Next, to set up the slider effect of Slick Slider, I'll create a custom JS file in the JS folder and add code. This is used to create a slider for this class. And this slider will have the style of the Slick Slider library. Then, declare all the JS and CSS files that we have just uploaded and created. Do it by adding code to the plugin PHP file. And, inside this function. The brand images have already turned into a slider. But it still hasn't looked good yet. So, it's time to add some additional CSS. Back to page editor by Oxygen. In the manage section, choose add style sheet to have space for you to add CSS. There are many classes I used in this code. You can refer to this code on GitHub or in the article that I put the link in the description to look at them in detail. Look, it displays beautifully. You can see it more clearly in the front end here. That's all for the tutorial today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye.